Tom Brady announced on Wednesday that he is officially retiring from football for the second time. Access Hollywood is taking a look back at the NFL legend's road to retirement, from his and Giselle's breakup to his relationship with his kids and more. Giselle Bundchen is reacting to the news that her ex-husband is stepping away from football again. On Wednesday, the supermodel commented on Tom Brady's Instagram post, where he announced he would be retiring for the second time. Wishing you only wonderful things in this new chapter of your life, she wrote, showing her support for the NFL quarterback. Giselle shared her response to the update just hours after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback admitted he is moving on from the sport in an emotional Instagram video. Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time, so when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first, so uh, I won't be long-winded. You only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me. My family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change a thing. Love you all. I love my family. I love my teammates. I love my friends. I love my coaches. I love football. I love you all. I am truly grateful on this day. Thank you. He captioned the clip. The news comes exactly one year to the day after he announced he would be retiring the first time, and before later changing his mind and returning to Tampa for the 2022 NFL season. Along with his heartfelt thanks this time, the pro athlete also shared a series of sentimental photos with his friends and family on his page and in his Instagram stories, including photos with his three kids and pictures of his ex-wife. The duo, who announced they were splitting in October 2022 after months of speculation, share 13-year-old son Benjamin and 10-year-old daughter Vivian together. Tom also shares his 15-year-old son Jack with his ex-girlfriend Bridget Moynihan, who the 45-year-old also shared a photo of. Just one day before confessing the big news, the history-making QB spoke with Access Hollywood's Zuri Hall on the red carpet at the premiere of the movie 80 for Brady, which he makes a cameo in. Uh, congratulations, 80 for Brady. The ladies are speaking very highly of you. Really? Yes. Lily Tomlin, impressed with your acting. So what is got it? a lot of tips on set, so they help me. They basically walk me through the whole thing, and the best part about acting is they can say, "Oh, cut, let's do it again." So, were you at all intimidated? I mean, you're clearly not a man who's easily intimidated, but no. this was something a little bit different. No, definitely. I think it was definitely um, outside of my comfort zone, and certainly when you're around some accomplished, the most amazing accomplished actors in the world, you know, you just come in. I try not to screw it up, so. Um, we definitely had a lot of takes, but it was a lot of fun. And every time I messed up, they were giving me tips. And yeah, it was just kind of a new arena. So it was a lot of fun. Jane Fonda told one of the Jimmies, you make her weak in the knees. Talk about your undeniable chemistry with these ladies. They clearly had a lot of fun with you in the bits of time that you were on set. What, are the, what was it like working with them? Because they're legends themselves. Yeah, we had fun. You know, I had some of my teammates there too. I had Gronk in it and Julia and Danny. I think all the guys were a little smitten by these ladies because they're very confident too. So. Just being out there with them was, um, you know, for us a little intimidating. And then obviously once we warmed up, we all had a lot of fun. Okay, now I got to ask you this. The OGs, the real life ladies, when are we making this happen? Will we ever? Will we ever what? See that the ladies on which this film is sort of inspired. I hope so. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was inspired by, you know, these four amazing women in, in Massachusetts that bonded over football. And uh, their lives kind of all went in different directions. And. And, uh, you know, that's what friendships and relationships are all about, you know, going through the ups and downs. So that's what this movie's about. Congratulations, Tom. Thank, Thank you so you much. Guys. Tom Brady is soaking up some quality family time with his youngest son. On Friday, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback shared sweet Instagram stories photos of him and 13-year-old Benjamin getting in some father-son bonding time. The doting dad posted a snap of their legs by the pool and captioned it, love this boy. He also shared a picture of him planting a sweet kiss on the back of Ben's neck and added two hearts. Ben is Tom's eldest child with his ex-wife, Giselle Bunchen. The two are also parents to 10-year-old daughter, Vivian. And the athlete is also a dad to 15-year-old son, Jack, whom he shares with his ex, Bridget Moynihan. All three kids joined their dad for a Christmas celebration earlier this week. Tom posted peeks at their stockings on his Instagram story, 
and showed off some of their presents, including socks for Vivian that read, just a girl who loves horses, and a pair for Ben that said, do not disturb, I'm gaming. Prior to Tom's festivities with the kids, Giselle had taken Benjamin and Vivian on a trip to her native Brazil, which she documented on Instagram. Things are officially over between Giselle Bündchen and Tom Brady. The pair both took to Instagram on Friday to announce that they have filed for divorce after 13 years of marriage. Quote, with much gratitude for our time together, Tom and I have amicably finalized our divorce. My priority has always been and will continue to be our children, whom I love with all my heart. The supermodel penned, adding, quote, we will continue co-parenting to give them the love, care, and attention they greatly deserve. The exes share two children together, 12-year-old son Benjamin and 9-year-old daughter Vivian Lake. Tom also shares 15-year-old son John Edward with ex Bridget Moyham. Giselle concluded her breakup announcement by noting that the decision to end their marriage was not an easy one, but they have just grown apart. Tom also shared the news on his own Instagram story, writing, quote, In recent days, my wife and I finalized our divorce from one another after 13 years of marriage. We arrived at this decision amicably and with gratitude for the time we spent together. The exes did not disclose the reason for their breakup, but the 45-year-old Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback's decision to unretire from the NFL is rumored to be a cause of major tension between the two. Axis Hollywood spoke to the couple in 2019, shortly after Tom's Super Bowl win with the Patriots. And they told us about spending quality time together as a family and discussed how long Tom might play. You guys had a fantastic vacation after the Super Bowl yeah. and after this GOAT win. Uh, what was it like to have the family together to celebrate also another major milestone for you, but to have the family together and, and just relax? It was nice for everyone to be together. We, you know, time with our kids, spend time with each other, and get a little rest. And anytime you know. we get him home, we're just so excited. You know, <laughs> yeah. know. football season, we don't see much of him. He's very focused, and yeah, it's very busy. that's why he gets the results he gets. Right? He's very dedicated, and he works very hard. And yeah, we are so proud of him. Oh. So. I have to be honest, sometimes I don't know which is more fun to watch in, during the game, if it's you or if it's you cheering for him. I know, I know. Well, that's that Brazilian fire, you know. Yeah, I, I know. can help myself. She could whip a lot of those guys into shape, I so I know. A lot of people are talking, how many more? Would you want to see him play, continue to, to dominate the way he is? Whatever he wants to do, I'm just going to support him because I just want him to be happy, you know. You just want to... Look at that. Look at that. I mean, he's really, you know, I'm really happy the way this turned out because he's really happy. You know, not, not every end of every season he's so happy. This is a great one. So. Yeah. What about you? How many more do you think you want to go after? It's hard to do, man. It's hard to win. So I've just been so blessed to be a part of such a great team. And, you know, it's a long ways from the start. But tonight is a special night for this one right here. And, uh, and I love her so much and all the great work she's done in the world. Not only in Brazil, but all around the world. And uh, she's just a very inspiring woman for me, for our kids. And it's nice that other people are recognizing her as well. Tom Brady is celebrating his first holiday season as a single parent following his divorce from Giselle Boonchin. On Tuesday, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback shared a glimpse inside the delayed Christmas he hosted for his three kids. 15-year-old Jack, whom he shares with his ex Bridget Moynihan, and 13-year-old Benjamin and 10-year-old Vivian, who he shares with his ex-wife, Giselle Boonchin. In the photos posted to his Instagram stories, Tom showed off the stockings he had hung up for his sons and daughter, as well as their furry friends. He also shared some of the presents they got, including socks for his daughter that read, Just a girl who loves horses, and a pair for his son that said, Do not disturb, I'm gaming. Prior to spending time with their dad, Ben and Vivian were in Brazil with their mom for the weekend. This was Tom and Giselle's first holiday apart after announcing they were separating. Their divorce was finalized on October 28th. The former couple shared the news in separate statements, both assuring that their priorities will remain with their children. In his first press conference since their split, Tom told a reporter who asked about the news that he was trying to do his best, both on and off the field. Um, it's not often that we have to ask that questions one. like this, but just what have the last the last few days, the last few weeks been, been like for you? I know a lot of the fans that have supported you all these years, they feel like they know you. They want to know if you're okay. Um... It's a very generic question, Jenna. It's a very generic question. I, I said the other day, you know, I wrote something on my social media. It's, um, yeah, you know, I've always tried to do the best I could do here. And then when I leave here, I try to do the best I could do. And that's what we all try to do. I'm sure everyone sitting in this room, everyone sitting home is trying to wake up every day doing the best they could do for 
their families and their career, and I'm no different. So just do the best you could do every day. So we certainly try to do. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. When I think about being a dad, I think about him because of what my dad meant to me. Tom Brady is one proud dad. The 44-year-old football star got emotional while talking about being a father to his three kiddos and reflected on his relationship with his own dad during a candid episode of ESPN's Man in the Arena this week. Quote, there's a big commitment that your parents make and my dad made every commitment to me that was, you know, an amazing dad. There was never a moment where he didn't have time to support what I wanted to do and try to achieve because it's a hard thing to do. Tom then opened up about his own personal experience as a father to 12-year-old son Benjamin and 9-year-old daughter Vivian, whom he shares with wife Giselle, and 14-year-old son Jack with his ex Bridget Moyhan. Quote, I'm 44, I've got a family that I'm a dad to some amazing children. When I think about being a dad, I think about him because of what my dad meant to me. And I know I'm not as good as a dad to my kids that my dad's been to me. And I use them as my example as to how to keep a family together and to care and to support and to love. A Super Bowl champ who briefly retired following last NFL season went on to know that he just wants his youngsters to be happy and quote, respectful of people. Quote, I think maybe what I wish for my children is to find something that they really love to do, like I have. I think I've taken it to an extreme too, you know? There are imbalances in my life, and you know, I hope they don't take things as far as I've taken them. I want them to experience great success in whatever they do, but there's torment about me, and I don't wish upon them. He's a great player on the field, but off the field, he's like, he looks like he, he's a good dad. Noah already knew Tom was great, but he was still not prepared for Tom's special gift. Hey Noah, what's up, man? I worked with both the Bucks and the NFL to get you and your family Super Bowl tickets this year in LA. We certainly hope to be there, but I know you're gonna be there. That moment was just amazing. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Noah was first diagnosed with brain cancer in February of last year during a routine checkup. Mom Jackie describes hearing the devastating news. It was like the movies. He sat us down, he turned the computer around and he, you know, he zoomed in and he circled it and he said, we found a tumor in the center of Noah's brain. We stood up, walked to the bathroom, we shut the door and we both looked at each other and we like started crying. <laughs> Thankfully, Noah beat the cancer and let Tom Brady know the part he played in his recovery during a Bucks game in October. Tom saw the sign and ran over to give him his hat. But that wasn't their first encounter. Shortly after being diagnosed, Tom sent his support via a video message during the hardest days of Noah's treatment. I just want to let you know, I'm thinking about you, I'm with you. Hang tough, you're going to be great. That was a big help, just watching the greatest quarterback or the greatest football player on earth, <laughs> say my name. And almost a year to the day after getting the diagnosis, Noah and his family are headed to the Super Bowl. I just want to say thank you a lot. <laughs> like if there was something I could do, I'd do it for him. <laughs>